Good evening. This is Rahul Makan here as a group chief executive officer, treasury consulting, and also a venture capitalist. As we speak, treasury consulting group is a multinational headquartered group based out India, Singapore, and Hong Kong. More importantly, we are a hedge fund. Now by hedge fund, I mean we take proprietary positions. Now by proprietary positions, I mean we take positions in FICC. Now FICC means fixed income currency and commodities, which effectively means that we take position in fixed income, currency, commodities. But having said that, none of the positions is backed up by a third party capital, which include third party, private equity and venture capitalist firm. I repeat and I repeat it many times that being a hedge fund, we are taking positions in FICC. Now FICC means fixed income currencies and commodities, but none of the positions is backed up by any third party, which include any third party investor, any private equity firm or any venture capitalist firm. Treasury Consulting is 100% cash rich company, which effectively means that all entities of Treasury Consulting are cash rich. Since inception, rather, the Indian entity and Singaporean entity invest their surplus cash with the top mutual funds of India and Singapore. And both entities bank with the top banks. Treasury Consulting Hedge Fund is a is just like a, a treasury desk which takes multiple positions at the same point of time, buy and sell positions. And of course, since inception, it is completely profitable in nature. Probably in the later stages, around a year or so, we would be entering in the credit derivatives, we would be entering in the international equities which includes the Thailand equity, the Dubai equity, the, you know, the equity in Hong Kong and multiple stocks. Probably by June 2022, which is around four to five months from now, we would be entering in ETF exchange traded fund market, which is around 7 trillion market as we speak. We would be covering the mutual funds in detail, so the scope and size of our hedge fund would continue to grow over the period of the time. And like I said, no third party would get invited, would get an invite to participate in the fund. That is the most important thing which we need to learn. Apart from that, Treasury Consulting hold many other business streams, just like we have our FNO Learnings Academy, we have our News Desk, we have our Sheetal Academy, which is our learning arm, we have our trainings, we have our consulting business, we have our private placement programs, we have our pension fund desk, family office desk, and our own fixed income platform which is www.fixedincome.global. And there are more products which are coming. So this is all about Treasury Consulting. And at the end, I'm extremely pleased that we are setting up a crypto academy very soon. And more importantly, we, are ex we already launched our TMA. Now that TMA means Treasury Market Association. So like I speak, the world have many uh, respective institutions, just like you have ICAI for CA, 
ICSI for company secretary. We have, you know, American Institute of CPA, AICPA and many bodies. But treasury bodies are always scattered. Treasury Consulting already launched TMA, which is Treasury Market Association. Hopefully in another 15 days, we would have the document of Treasury Market Association live with us, which we would upload on our fixed income platform. And we assure you that we would be sparing a pretty handy knowledge. I would say pretty handy knowledge about Treasury Market Association, about Treasury Markets includes plain vanilla and structured and highly structured products to our members. In case you wish to have any information, you can definitely WhatsApp on my personal number, which is plus nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. Alternatively, you can WhatsApp on our back office, which is plus nine one nine eight one eight four eight five one double five. Now in this video, we would be deliberating more about the CFA material and especially the bond exit price. See you in the part one of the video. Thank you and have a great time ahead. Treasury Consulting Group is extremely pleased to share that we launched our new video course. And that video course is about foreign exchange and financial market. This video course is near about two and a half to three hours, which includes the practical, I repeat, the practical applications of foreign exchange, not like a theory, but 100% practical. Linked with the live charts, rather the live videos from Thomson Reuters. More importantly, this course do cover the non-deliverable forward and to an extent IRS curves as well. Now this foreign exchange course is a beginner course, but even if it is a beginner course, we tried to have near about two and a half to three hours video course. This video course is 5,000 rupees. And in this video course, the USB is once you would be subscribing, we would be uploading this on your Google Drive. So you would be giving us a Google Drive and we would be uploading this. Please be note that now we are working on the advanced course of foreign exchange as we are done with the basic course. More importantly, in another couple of years, Treasury Consulting would be adding more video courses, which includes fixed income, which includes commodities, which includes crypto, which includes structured derivatives, and probably regulatory reporting also. Online training courses are already live on our Sheetal Academy platform, which is very well there at www.fixedincome.global. And around 200 plus, I repeat, 200 plus training courses are live. In case you wish to have any information about the links and all, you can WhatsApp at my personal number which is plus nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. Thank you very much and see you in the video.
वेलकम टू पार्ट वन ऑफ द वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी वुड बी कवरिंग अबाउट द ग्रेट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ द यूनिवर्स एंड द नेम इज सी एफ ए सर्टिफाइड फाइनेंशियल एनालिस्ट राइट सर्टिफाइड फाइनेंशियल एनालिस्ट before i continue let me give you a brief mythology very brief mythology i don't know to what extent you believe in mythology but i do it is said that lord brahma is the creator of universe it's incorrect he is a creator of multiverse which means that he created more than one universe so i fail to understand why people call him as a creator of universe he is a creator of multiverse which means multiple universe as we speak we have around 64 universe in the globe this is according to mythology and i believe in mythology because today science claim that science is advanced but we know the reality for a human being evaluating and reaching this 64 universe is impossible i know that impossible is a cheap word people don't like it but we are busy in politics corruption fighting each other the value of talent is zero so let's take a simplistic example During Steve Jobs the world saw iPhone, iPad, iMac, iMac Air book and sequence of products but after Steve Jobs the world rarely saw any revolutionary product world saw Shibu doggy coin as a revolutionary product and Elon Musk presented himself as next Steve Jobs but how closer he is to Steve Jobs we all aware anyways hence what we need to understand one thing the difference between reality and fiction that's more important we are living in the world of fiction not reality and let me tell you that lord shiva said to mata parvati that eventually the fiction comes to an end which is called pralay you know in uh, my as per the mythology so fiction comes to an end similarly the fiction of each individual comes to an end it is the pralay of that individual not the earth now our fiction is that we are having a degree if you are thinking that we we are making video on the cfa and we will spare harvard stanford calac national university of singapore smu singapore management university and all then you are highly mistaken of course like i said i need time so let have fiction with the reality this is reality janus hederson sovereign debt index report check it is april 2021 i repeat this is janus hederson april 2021 janus hederson is one of the leading i repeat one of the leading hedge funds of the globe and i doubt if people are not aware about the credentials of janus hederson if not then we are idiots because janus hederson do not need any introduction right this is the annual report oh, sorry this is the report and i read the whole report you can see that at many places i have marked also the the 
my views and my opinions about the report. It is not the only report which I study. Every month I print more than 5000 pages and I try to go through as maximum as possible, which is irrespective of the different magazines, the newspapers, which I study. And thank you to the big hedge funds like PIMCO, Vanguard, Janus Hederson, M&D, BlackRock, Blackstone. They on an often basis publish their credentials in public domain, which is definitely a good practice. I know that most, most people do not study these credentials and the end result, we all are aware about that. So before I continue, this is the reality, which is Janus Ederson Sovereign Bond Sovereign Debt Index. And this is fiction. CFA Level 1 Study Material, Volume 5, Title Fixed Income, Derivatives, Alternate Investments and Portfolio Management. This is fiction and today I will prove this. Now let's go to the Janus Hederson, April 2021, page number 2. Page number two. By 2020 end, 2020 end, which means we are in the beginning of 2022, which means around one year ago. The global government debt rose to 62.5 trillion dollars. So the total government debt in the world is around. 62.5 trillion dollars how would they pay this this debt that is a very big question to me probably not to you according to the same analysis near about 9.3 trillion out of 62.5 9.3 trillion added only in 2020 which means during the year of pandemic, the global governments, which includes United States, Europe, India, Singapore, multiple, they added 9.3 trillion. And as we speak by end of 2020, it is 62.5 trillion. In 2022, Many governments worldwide are facing exemplary fiscal discipline issue. I repeat, fiscal discipline issue, which includes Sri Lankan government, Maldives, South African government, and many other African governments, including Pakistan. In fact, very recently, many international banks raised concern about the rising debt in India. Of course, I'm not deliberating much on the budget of India, but I hope you have look at the gross borrowings of government of India, and I would discuss this in a separate video. Debt is rising, now, whether this is Indian debt, Singaporean debt, Maldives, you know, Sri Lanka, South Africa, and the so-called Joe Biden. When the debt rise, it ends up creating two important issues for not, not only for that country, but also for the globe, which is the issue of refinancing. Alternatively, the issue of sovereign debt or sovereign crisis. So let me give you a very simplistic example. Bank of England few days ago lost their rate by 25 bips. Although four out of nine committee members were looking for 50 bips hike. And the intelligent idea behind this hike is to mitigate the inflation. This is the simpler story of Akbar and Beeble, whereby 
Birbal put the khichdi at the very top and having fire at the bottom. And Akbar asked, what the hell it is going on? How would the fire reach towards the khichdi? And Birbal replied, how would that sadhu got the heat when the lamp was many kilometers away from him? And Akbar realized his mistake. This is called policy error. But nonetheless, we are not here discussing about policy errors. Now the 25 bips hike, which they delivered, this 25 bips hike end up having more refinancing cost. England is also having a huge debt in the books. Huge, huge debt in the books. Now, I would like to study one important concept and then we would move to the link this knowledge to the other knowledge called CFA. Of course, there is there is such a thing as too much government debt through the goalpost of debt sustainability have moved a long way in the last decade. A host of factors came into play, such as level of interest rate, demographics, or whether the government is locked into spending plans that can never be covered by its income. That can never be covered by its income, a so-called structural deficit. See you in the part two. But remember, structural deficit. See you in the part two. Welcome to part second of the video and in this we would be talking about the structural deficit and link with CFA certified financial analyst not charter financial analyst certified financial analyst so let's go to page number 11 of the Janus Hederson report Page number 11. And I'm sure that 90% of you, 90% of you have heard Janus Hederson first time that there is a hedge fund known as Janus Hederson. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. So page number 11 of the Janus Hederson report, which is very latest, April 2021. By end of 2020, central banks owned 24% of the global government debt, which practically means that the total government debt is 62.5 trillion. So 25% precisely is near about 12 trillion, you can say, uh, near about 15 trillion. It means that the 15 trillion is owned by the central banks. Now in this, I'm not deliberating the difference between the debt owned by the central bank and debt owned by the government that I'm not deliberating. But anyways, the proportion was obviously much higher in the countries that have active QE policies quantitative easing policies. In the US, 85% of 2020 borrowings was by Federal Reserve. 85% of 2020 borrowings is by Federal Reserve. In UK, Two third, which is near about 66% is by Bank of England. So Bank of England draws the rate by 25 bips few days ago. 
which means that 66% of the funding is by Bank of England, which precisely means a heavy cost to Bank of England on the way. And near about one third, which is 33% is by Bank of Japan. So three countries, US 85%, UK 66%, Bank of Japan 33%. This is reality. Okay, guys, we discussed about Janice Hederson. We discussed about structural deficit. We discussed about the central bank debt. And I'm sure that many people, many people of the globe haven't heard that even central banks raise the money for the governments. Thanks to Janice Hederson. Not to me, to you. Let's talk about fiction. Where millions of dollars worth of fees is paid every year, which acts as an income for CFA Institute. On paper, they have committees, numerous committees, who takes care of the examination material, the learning outcomes, the question and answer session, and many more things. But the hard reality is these committees stand nowhere to the report I have just presented. If I had presented this report, the number, the statistics, without showing you the Janus Hederson report, None of them would have trusted, but now no one can refuse. Yes, the hardcore CFA people, those who have proud in their degrees, but no knowledge, they would definitely be different. Now in this, in this CFA, go to page number, Thirteen, you know that we already acquired the CFA level two material thanks to Amazon and level two material thanks to Amazon and we are very soon going to be paying for level three. Let us done with few modules and have few videos and then we go with the level three module also uh, available on Amazon. So all these books which we are using for material for video making they all bought from Amazon that's very important so this is not from a third party torrent internet download this is from Amazon you need to learn that in this there are three big issues which we have in the bond pricing theoretical bond prices is given but what the hell is the practical bond pricing so let me give an example. There are two kinds of interest risk a bond holder face. Number one is the reinvestment risk. Number two is the market risk. Theoretically. But practically it is incorrect. Practically, a bond holder face a risk called market risk. Like I said in my very first video, Lord Brahma created multiverse, multiple universe, not one universe. Earth is a part of which universe we do not know. Except Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu and Lord Shiva we are not aware which universe is having earth. So bond holder face market risk. Reinvestment risk is a part of market risk. Reinvestment risk is of two types and I'm sure you haven't heard about it. One is called MIRR 
which is modified internal rate of return. One is MIRRX, which is again modified internal rate of return. But the only difference between the former, which is MIRRR and the new one, MIRRX is the former have uniform dates, while the new one, MIRRX, having no uniform dates. And this is the first reality. In the world of financial markets, reinvestment cannot be at uniform rates, uniform dates. Let's take an example of Bank of England. There were hypes that Bank of England may end up increasing the rates. If you are a bondholder, whether this is a corporate bond, whether this is a junk bond, whether this is an investment grade bond or not, you would have hold your positions because you was waiting for Bank of England to increase the rate. And once Bank of England would increase the rate, you would come in the market and invest. You get 25 pips more. But all those who invested earlier, not waited for Bank of England, at least they lost 25 pips. It's a huge loss, by the way. 25 bips is not a small amount. So is MIRR is all about uniform dates? First of all, this book do not have MIRR. Forget MIRR. This book do not have MIRR. So do not even think about MIRRX. That is the difference between theory and fiction. My job hasn't done as yet. I hope I clarified. CFA Certified Financial Analyst book do not have MIRR, but it talks about fixed income. At the top, got my point. Now, I just initiate this point and rest I covered in the part three. Once I have a bond, and generally, who invest in bond? The big boys like Goldman, JP, City, Standard Chartered, they invest in bonds. They have big prop positions, big client positions, and they valued at multiple terms. So they take a very big positions in FICC and what exactly happened. They take big positions in bonds. But they take positions not as a buy and hold they take position, buy and sell. Their ultimate objective is money, profit. So what are the various factors that a bond trader and JP Morgan Chase, Goldman Sachs, City, UBS, Morgan Stanley, they face which is not covered by CFA. This we will deliberate in video three. But before I quit, there is a huge difference between the fiction and the reality and i repeat this is fiction have a great time ahead. see you in the part three
वेलकम टू पार्ट थ्री ऑफ द वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी वुड बी कवरिंग वट ऑल इश्यूज द ट्रेडर्स आर फेसिंग वेन इट कम्स टू द एक्चुअल बॉन्ड ट्रेडिंग आई रिपीट द एक्चुअल बॉन्ड ट्रेडिंग इफ आई स्पीक अबाउट any bank in the world whether this bank is goldman sachs city bank jp morgan chase morgan stanley wells fargo doishe commerce bank ubs anz bells anz national australian bank westpac or any other bank they have either a prop desk which means a proprietary desk where they trade their own money or they have a client desk where they are trading the client money some of the banks in the world because the list is very comprehensive but some of the banks in the world have both they have proprietary as well as the client money which means that they take position using their own money and they take position using the client's money now i would like to take once again the note from this book to explain you that this is a reality this book which is by bloomberg although i again challenge this book that there are many things in the books which are not written because i now i reached to the page number 90 and when i shot the first video pertaining to this book i was at page number 41 so soon i would have one more video page number 83 borrowing rates historically tend to rise in days around the end of each quarter as the bank hold cash in an attempt to window dress their financial result banks hold cash in an attempt to window dress their financial results it was a quick in the market quick of the market that some traders didn't factor into their models into their models early enough haynes thought of it as a easy money and had 2 million riding on every basis point 2 million riding on every basis point page number 83 bloomberg the traders who trade for the bank big banks they take fcic fixed income currency and commodities i will not discuss currency and commodities but in fixed income they take predominant position in bonds which includes the treasury bonds investment grade bonds no non investment grade bonds you know the corporate bonds bonds with some little bit issues pertaining to credit rating and many more type of bonds but the biggest point is the valuation of the bonds basically the positions which they are taking are not backed up by the theory which is provided in the cfa book the valuation of the bond is dependent on the factors like the credit risk it depends on the quantitative easing by the central bank so i again take an example on this book but by 26th june his plan was airy central banks were flooded were flooding the system with the chief money and hains was swimming against a tsunami of cash that was dragging the benchmarks and as we all know that central banks are flooding the system with a huge amount of cash why they are flooding we knew the reason and the evidence is this report jenner's hederson sovereign bond index i have shown this report last time also 
it is clear evident that in page number two this report is clearly mentioning that by end of 2020 the central banks basically the governments holding a debt to the tune of 62.5 trillion i repeat 62.5 trillion you can see the janus Henderson. if you go to page number 11 which seems to be my favorite page it is clearly mentioning that central banks are issuing the debt on behalf of the government for us it is 85 percent for uk it is 66 percent for bank of japan is it is 33 percent now when it comes to the bond pricing the theoretical bond pricing computation by CFA Institute, Certified Financial Analyst. Please don't treat this as a charter financial analyst. By Certified Financial Analyst is, is completely incorrect. Because the bond pricing comes from OS, Option Adjusted Spread. It depends upon QST quality spread differential it comes from the cds risk credit default swap it comes from the sovereign credit risk of that particular country so example if today sri lankan government which is a reality is facing some issues rather multiple issues on a credit front then the companies who issued the bonds in the Sri Lankan domestic market and subsequently subscribed by the Sri Lankan nationals or maybe institutional investors or maybe some other people they are also facing the heat because the collapse of the bonds by Sri Lankan government means the CDS sorry the credit spread or quality spread differential impact on these bonds also then how CFA Institute, that is the biggest stupidity of the life. How CFA Institute in his level one book can mention that the bond pricing is based on a yield, a yield which change on a tick. And what the hell is tick? It is nanosecond, which is many times of a second, fraction of a second. If you have Reuters, if you have Bloomberg, you would get to know it changes at nanosecond. Now, the biggest regret of the life is, I repeat, the regret of the life is millions of students worldwide spare millions of dollars on the CFA degree. And they believe that the bond pricing is done in a way as mentioned in a CFA level one book versus the reality we mentioned here versus the reality we mentioned at the Janus Hudson. Bond pricing is completely different of what you are thinking. This is something we need to understand. This is part three. See you in the part four of the video. Welcome to the part four of the video and in this I would be covering another important thing about the bond pricing. When we speak about bond pricing, bond pricing is actually done by two set of people in the world. Now number one is the institutional investors. Now, who the hell are institutional investors? The institutional investors are big people, just like big hedge funds in the world, like PIMCO, you know, and all big hedge funds who take substantial positions in the bonds. They also include ETFs. Now, ETFs means exchange traded funds. As we speak, the world hold near about 7 trillion 
you heard me right 7 trillion worth of etf market and majority of the etf market in the world are either passive or active now when it comes to passive they take substantial positions in the bonds of the multiple countries while when it comes to active they take substantial positions in the stocks like tesla microsoft apple amazon and in many cases the startups like uber and multiple and they lost also so i repeat as we speak there are many reports in the world who give different picture of the hedge funds like there are some reports are saying that the hedge funds are near about a trillion dollar corpus some are saying they have a more than trillion dollar corpus while some are saying they have more than 10 to 15 trillion of corpus henceforth to me it is difficult to give an actual number because there are multiple sources but when it comes to etf the number is more or less unique which is 7 trillion even if i assume that 40 percent of the etf market is passive which means near about 3 trillion is bond market Forget the big boys like Goldman, JP, City, Standard Chartered, UBS, Barclays, how much positions they are taking, covering their prop and client desk. We have no information about that, henceforth no, con no comment because this number never comes in public. What comes in public is the quarter number of FICC, which is fixed income currencies and commodities apart from that no number comes in public when these big boys which includes the hedge funds the family offices the pension funds the etf market when they take position in the bond market they never take position in not always take position in i would say you know the as and when the bond is issued which is called when issued market i'm not deliberating much on the when issued market but i'm sure that when issued is also missing here but let me see they buy and sell from the secondary market now when they buy and sell from the secondary market they are subject to one thing which is called amortization now what the hell is amortization now amortization means if a bond who is originally issued at a yield of 4% and assuming for multiple reasons increase in credit spread or decrease or for multiple reason the yield is at 5% which means the bond is trading lesser than the principal. So principal assuming $100 now the bond is trading is around 95 to $96. The $4, which the less the, these big boys, hedge fund and all they paid, this is their gain, right? But what if the yield is not 4%, rather it is 3%. Now the bond is 105, which means they paid $5 more than what it's supposed to be. This is their loss. So the net MIRR, which includes the modified internal rate of return, rather, I'm incorrect here, the net MIRRX, because the timing of the reinvestment cannot be uniform. We cannot have a uniform timing. This is the hard reality and we need to accept that reality. But unfortunately, the bookish people like CFA, Certified Financial Analyst, they are completely away from the reality. Now, MIRRX should cover, rather in a practical cases, covering the amortization impact. Because if I have paid 95, which means the $5 is the gain. If I have paid 105, it means $5 is my loss. 
and that needs i repeat that needs to be adjusted against my net pnl and what the hell is ficc which is fixed income currencies and commodities and this ficc is netting off that impact from the pnl the traders have their excel models in some cases it is a proprietary model which is by the banks and these models are netting off that impact now the end result which they get is miwr and that miwr also linked to the cash trade but that is a little bit technical this ends up the net bond pricing these big boys like these hedge funds big big mutual funds big etf exchange traded funds big boys like goldman jp city barclays ubs anz westpac they do this is the net pnl they are getting trading is all subject to volatility sometimes they win good sometimes they lose also which is bad but this is how it works like in this quarter december 2021 i repeat in december 2021 quarter majority of the top banks lost it but if i go with this book called certified financial analyst then they would have they never lost it because the world is unique there are no arbitrage opportunities there is no volatility and more importantly the market goes with the academic principle and guys if you look at page number 13 i have clearly mentioned just check 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 this out you can see that in page number 13 i have mentioned i have making my notes right in page number 13 i have mentioned the right formula and what is the right formula the mps the market price of a bond is nothing but the factor divided by the yield and what is factor factor is principal plus m i r r x plus minus amortization because i might have bought at 95 i might have bought at 105 so it is plus minus amortization i repeat mps the market price of the bond is dependent on is a formula of factor divided by the yield factor formula i have given to you yield is tick by tick my year and i am not going into into the detail which is tbt but having said that one thing which we need to understand that the highest stupidity in the life is that the big boys goldman jp city standard chartered barclays the big etf players in the world they all are incorrect their trading desk who are making billions of dollars in every quarter rather every month sometimes they all are incorrect the models you know on which the bond is traded the bond prices comes on reuters screens they comes on the bloomberg screen the benchmark curves which are which are coming on reuters they coming on the bloomberg they are also a completely incorrect the only right thing is that theory knowledge and specifically talking here the theory knowledge which is by the cfa institute and millions of people study this knowledge and believe that they become king this is our video covering till what extent i repeat till what extent the level of stupidity we have in the degrees thanks to the janes hederson for their research report thanks to amazon for providing these books on their platform and thanks to the god that i dealt practically on reuters and bloomberg which i am doing even today and thanks to the banking connects who are in the world of reality rather than the fiction 
So guys, next time you are proud of your CFA degree, certified financial analyst, note down a number. 9899242978 9899242978 Next time when you are proud of your CFA degree I really love to talk to you because I would also like to understand till what extent your degree links with the world of practicality. Have a great time. Thank you very much for watching this video. And like Treasury Consulting Group promised that we would be analyzing the CFA study material and this is our third video pertaining to the CFA. Two videos pertaining to the CFA study material are already live on our YouTube channel, which you are watching. Probably in another couple of years, which means by December 2023 or probably in another three years, by December 2024, we would be able to analyze the complete study materials of various degrees which includes the CFA, which includes the CPA, American Institute of CPA, which includes the FRM, which includes the ACCA and multiple. The review of these study materials is not too different because Defame is a very cheap word. The review of these study material is to let these institutions know their status. I don't know till what extent you believe in Mahabharata. I don't know, but being an Indian national, and I believe that if somebody is going to watch Mahabharata, and especially the Lord Krishna role, irrespective of various series we have on Disney Hotstar and multiple channels, OTT platforms. But more or less, Sri Krishna role is intact and his role is about learnings. His role is about karma. His role is about devotion. His role is about commitment. His role is about knowledge. Lord Krishna, Lord Narayana, Lord Shiva many times repeated the same word, which is as a human being, there are two options for you. Once you come to the earth, now, irrespective, you come to US, you born in US, you born in Russia, you born in Brazil or whatever different countries, it hardly matters. But Lord Krishna and Lord Narayana and Lord Shiva, basically the Lord Narayana and Lord Shiva repeated the same line, which is you have two options. Option number one, to go with the status quo, which means when you born, whatever is being taught, whatever is being written in the books, whatever is being uh, you know, let you know in the schooling system, college system and all, you are going to follow this blindly. You have no right in asking any questions. Because if you are asking any question, it means you are incorrect. You are wrong. You are overconfident. You are, you know, an idiot. You are challenging the system and how could you challenge the system the other is you break the barriers you break the shatters and just move forward the examples like steve jobs bill gates in cricketing world 
we have Bradley, we have Ricky Ponting, we have Glenn McGraw, we have Shane Vaughn, we have Brain Lara. I will not name Sachin Tendulkar in that because Sachin Tendulkar having zero leadership qualities. We have Michael Clark and all. Now, they just break the barriers and went ahead. And the end result is they achieved. Rather, not achieved, they end up as a benchmark. Today, every fast bowler of the globe, whosoever, whether he is in the cricket or whether he would like to join cricket, he loves Britley. Millions of videos are uploaded on the YouTube which talks about Bradley, his bowling style, his cricketing skills, his fielding, his physique, his gymming, many things. Bradley himself teach many things on the YouTube and thanks to Bradley. By the way, he's my favorite fast bowler, followed by Mitchell Strunk and now Pat Cummins. Now, what the hell is that? We have millions of fast ballers produced in the cricketing world since the inception of cricket. When Sir Don Bradman were playing the cricket. Millions of fast ballers being produced. But these millions of fast ballers are not on YouTube. They are not being followed. Now, what is the difference? I leave the difference on you. I'm not going to be naming this. This is the line which is created by the world. The status quo. The theory. What is being taught? And the Jadis Hudson is Bradley, Mitchell Stark, and the names I mentioned. Go to hell. We do what we love to. Choice is yours. My choice is very clear. My choice is one level higher than Bradley, which is challenging the best idiots, not the idiots, best idiots, Bloomberg Press. If anyone from the Certified Financial Institute, Certified Financial Analyst Institute, CFA, feels offended, if any director, any course curriculum, feels offended or they feel that this person is talking realistically as compared to others who are not talking, then my mobile number is 9899242978. I repeat, 9899242978. Two four two nine seven eight. My email ID and every details is on my website, rather my fixed income platform, which is www.fixedincome.global. And I wanted to tell to CFA Institute, FRM, CPA, ACCA. CMT and many such degrees, Tera Baap Aya, without any, without having any degree, I let you know how exactly things are done. This is Rahul Magan from Treasury Consulting Group, who is competent enough to challenge even the best banks of the globe best banks of the globe. Have a great time, my
at onset i would like to thank you everyone who is watching our videos and by the way we are getting a very great response of our videos because almost every passing day almost every passing day we are getting emails whatsapp youtube facebook twitter linkedin instagram and many other platforms the queries on many other platforms rather as we speak we got an email from various banks various people who are working in big banks who put the technical queries to us and the show the strength of our videos on their might and we thank you to all of them let it be honest we thank you to all of them now the biggest question here which i would like to say here is you know that treasury consulting believes in knowledge since inception as an organization we believe that knowledge is the most important thing we hold and we believe that it is not about knowledge rather it is the practical knowledge which really matters because almost every passing day the world is surrounded by stupidities or fancy things we have seen uber at one point of time uber was 100 billion dollar private market valuation the so called private market valuation the end result where is uber we know we have seen paytm we have seen ola uber swiggy zomato lenskart almost everybody but the world also witnessed amazon the world witnessed facebook google accenture CPN Microsoft these companies who performed even in the bad days and i think performance is a very cheap word they not performed they over delivered we have goldman sachs who is near about 150 years i repeat 150 years old bank and doing very well what differentiates these organizations from the organizations like uber paytm ola uber swiggy somato and all these unicorns apple my favorite the differentiation is the practical knowledge sometimes it take times it take time to reach to the destination where you would like to be but the end result is you always end up to that designation or that destination or the path which the god has selected for you of course you need to work for that you need to study for that you need to make sure that you reach you have complete plans you have strategies you have dedication you will not go with the watch go to hell the lines which are made by the world and treasury consulting believes in the same we have our ott platform over the top and i assure you that you just give us one year maximum two years we we'll create a ott platform an ott platform which is over the top which 
breaks all shatters now whether it is foreign exchange whether this is derivatives whether this is valuation whether this is startup whether this is accounting whether this is structured derivatives whether this is anything we would be covering on our ott platform the objective of our ott platform is to make sure i repeat the objective of our ott platform is to make sure that we reach till the last people the pricing is so competitive that it is next to match now the only thing is the time which decides everything basically we are working throughout our 100 videos are live and hopefully more videos are on the card and like i said by december 2022 the strength of our videos would be much much higher than what it is today and i once again thank you to the people who watch our videos because one thing i have noticed is that our videos are reaching where i want them to reach on my linkedin profile i have seen i am every week i don't know whether you till what extent you know linkedin but linkedin is a great platform by microsoft now it is bought by microsoft every week linkedin gives you an email and that email is you know how many people and from which organizations review your profile basically they look into your profile and every week let me tell you i am watched by the big fours whether this is ey kpmg deloitte or pwc every week i am watched by them many times i am watched by google i am watched by microsoft this week i was watched by namura and many times i have watched by goldman sachs jp morgan and all these banks every week i hit more than 1000 more than 1000 profile reviews and i have two profiles on one profile i have hit 1000 times which means in a month i hit near about 4000 it means 4,000 people visit my LinkedIn profile on a monthly basis, which includes people like EY, KPMG, Deloitte, PwC, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Google, Microsoft, and many such people. It also includes the regulatory bodies. They also watch our videos because they know that what I'm talking is a realistic thing and which they are not up to. People like Raghuram Rajan, theory people, they also watched my LinkedIn profile. People like uh, the MAS, you know, Monetary Authority of Singapore, they watched my LinkedIn profile. And I'm very happy that my videos are reaching where I want them to reach. That's the most important thing in the life because if my videos are reaching, it means my job is done. And I tell you one very golden line of the life, which is we would be expanding, rather we would be enhancing the deepest knowledge in the world of finance on YouTube. Of course, everything won't come on the YouTube. Let it be honest. But having said that, the next 5 to 10 years, I repeat, next 5 to 10 years would be a golden year for finance. Because due to the fintech, not all fintech are fake. Let it be very honest. Not all. We still have 1 or 2% fintech, those who are genuine those who are actual and they are delivering let it be honest those who are genuine and actual 
Yes, there are many fintech platform, no need to repeat the names, you know. But at the end, our endeavor is very simple, which is the way we have Amazon Prime, thanks to the Amazon Prime. We have Netflix, we have Disney, we have Apple TV. They have their own forte and they are working in their forte. Our forte is knowledge. Our forte is not the movie production, drama production, the sports, the cricket and all. No, that's are not our forte. Our forte is knowledge. And our OTT platform, which is over the top, which is TRFX Academy, would continue to work on the forte. And we would be bringing an extensive knowledge on our OTT platform. At the end, I would like to thank you to everyone for the support. I also thank you to the people who don't like us because once you challenge the status quo, the people tend to disregard you because internally they started feeling that this person talking right. You know, I got just to conclude, I got a message from a CFA guy. I have the copy of this message and he mentioned that he's a CFA level person. He wanted to work in my company. I'm not CFA. I have said many times on the YouTube, I'm not CFA and neither I wanted to be CFA. FRM and all such degrees, they all are completely theoretical degrees away from reality. And why these people who hold these degrees, certifications, these honors, why they wanted to work with me? What is pushing them to work with me? What is enticing them to write to me? Why don't they write to JP Morgan, City, Goldman Sachs? UBS, Barclays, Deutsche, Commerce Bank, ANZ, Westpac, EY, KPMG, Deloitte. Why don't they write here? Why do they write here? That I leave on you. To conclude, it hardly matters. It hardly matters to me what the world is thinking. Hardly matters. Because Steve, Steve Jobs, we call him Steve. Steve made one thing very clear to me. That what he told to his professor at his university when he was near about 20. And what he said to his professor. Degree is an act of validation. This is what Steve said. Degree is an act of validation. And I would like to reiterate this with the permission of my favorite person in the world, none other than Steve Jobs. Degree is, of course, an act of validation. But at the same time, in 2022, degree is an act of ego. that I have this degree. Degree is of course act as an act as in validation act of validation. And it also now an act of ego. To me, it hardly bothers hardly matters. What the helpers people are thinking about because of the kind of messages, the emails and everything I'm carrying. This is Rahul Magan from Treasury Consulting Group. Majority of you knew my number. If you don't, plus nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. You can visit our fixed income platform www dot fixed income dot global. Have a great time.
This is the video which is dedicated to the Treasury Consulting Group and to be very honest we are keeping this video now onwards at the end of every YouTube video and all the courses by Sheetal Academy and Treasury Consulting Group. There are many questions people generally raised about Treasury Consulting, the products, the services and we reply these questions on WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube and variety of forums. But the quantity of questions, the you know queries are continuously increasing, henceforth we decided to make a video. Of course, this is not the only video which, were, which we are making, rather, you know, over the period of the time, we would continue to upgrade this video, to be precise, you know. First of all, Treasury Consulting Group is a multinational headquartered group. We are based out India, Singapore and Hong Kong. As we speak, company is around 5 years plus old and more importantly, we are 100% cash rich company. Unlike the so-called unicorns, without quoting the name and even if I quote the name, it's a fact that they never touch the profit. The company is in profits from the from inception. So since inception, the company is in profit. So we are a 100% cash rich group, 0% venture capitalist and 0% debt. More importantly, our legal entities invest our free cash with mutual funds and international banks across the globe. We are a client to almost top 10 mutual funds in India. And that is the reason we do have holistic information about the mutual fund industry in India. That's a separate thing that majority of the information never comes in public domain. Even if a fraction of the information comes in public domain, this fraction of information come for one day and then you know how it happens. So as we speak, we do have, you know, three legal entities, India, Singapore and Hong Kong. More importantly, we are a cash rich group and we are having 0%, which means not a single cent invested by any venture capitalist or private equity firm. The company has not taken debt from any bank, financial institution or hedge fund. So we are a zero debt company. That is something which we need to understand very holistically. The following are the products and services we do have about Treasury Consulting. The more detail is coming at the, you know, with the, as the video progress. We have our own proprietary hedge fund. Many people in the world do not understand the meaning of proprietary. The proprietary means no party outside Treasury Consulting can invest in our hedge fund. Which means that we trade with our own money. We are not accepting anybody's money. Even if you give us any amount of money, any, any proposal on the table, it is completely rejectable. So proprietary is a word which is often used in United States and Europe, but unfortunately this is least used in India. The proprietary means people trade their own money. They do not trade somebody's money. Even if tomorrow after listening this video, you come to us and say that I give you $1 million to trade my money. I will say, thank you very much. We are literally not interested. We hold our own proprietary fund. And that fund would continue to be proprietary, which means that the outside participation would continue to be zero forever. We include our, this fund includes the equities desk, the commodities desk. We have our virtual comics platform. More importantly, we have our OTT Academy. OTT stands at over the top, just like we are having Amazon Prime, we are having Netflix, Disney, there are so many, you know, OTT platform we have worldwide. Our OTT platforms is not as big because they started six months ago. But thankfully, we are having a handful of customers and they are growing. In our OTT platform, we are creating video and uploading at the back end of our platform. 
people with authorized login id and password can see these videos apart from that no one else is authorized to see these videos as the video progress you will get to know that as we you know we are having around 13 plus which is one three 13 plus different series as far as the ott platform is concerned as we speak august 2021 it is 13 plus and we are continuously adding more series our idea is very clear we will reach to 35 or probably 40 series in another one one and a half years of time we are having our learning arm which is sheetal academy the details of the sheetal academy is given at the end of the video we have our own family office desk rather very soon our hedge fund would be a part of our family office we have our own pension fund desk in terms of consulting and there are 62 plus different platforms which are listed on our fixed income platform which is www.fixedincome.global so as we speak we have our proprietary hedge fund we have our equities desk we have our commodities desk we have our virtual comics platform our ott academy our penny stock desk, Sheetal Academy, family office, pension fund and variety of such platform. TNFX Academy, which is our OTT platform, over the top platform, this platform is having 13 plus series. Now few I mentioned, you know, basic series, moderate series, advanced series, valuation series, treasury series, wealth management platform wealth management platform is actually integrated with trfx academy and would continue to be integrated because of course we would be investing heavily in the wealth management platform when we speak about wealth management platform we speak about the learnings we are not talking about the trading you know there is a difference it's a trading platform remember this we have 13 plus different series like few are basic series, moderate series, valuation series, advanced series, treasury series, research and analysis series and we have variety of such series. So please do remember that. As we speak, we have around 180 plus videos live. Every week we shot 10 videos. So every month we are adding around 40 to 50 videos and it will keep we keep adding more and more, more and more, more and more videos as the time would come. The target is very clear that we would be having more than 2000 plus videos probably in another two years of time, which means a dedicated private platform for learnings. So what is the wealth management platform? A wealth management platform is designed to cover all asset classes of the globe. The asset classes include the fixed income, currencies, commodities, credit derivatives, structured derivatives and many more. So I repeat, a wealth management platform is designed to cover all asset classes of the globe. Wealth management platform is also designed to cover continent wise topic. Continents are United States, Europe, AXI, Asia excluding India. We have excluded India because the financial markets in India are very, very shallow. Very shallow. Like if you speak MTN, medium term notes, if you speak about any exotic derivatives, no, nowhere people are take, taking this. In fact, you know that I worked as a corporate treasurer. Even today, 99% of the treasury function in India are working as a cost center. Hardly 1% are working as a profit center. Hardly 1%, to be honest. So the continent wise include United States, Asia excluding India, Asia excluding Japan, India and Japan, global financial centers like Singapore, Dubai, Hong Kong, Luxembourg, Switzerland and respective, and of course, Latin America. We are creating a wealth management platform which would be covering everything. Example, CDS, credit derivatives. India is not a market of credit derivatives. Reserve Bank of India own paper allowing credit derivatives, but neither we have buyer nor we have sellers of credit derivative. So on paper you have credit derivative, but practically you don't have the credit derivative in place. 
Henceforth, we really need to understand that if we wanted to talk about credit derivative, the only markets are US, Europe or Singapore. India was not a market, is not a market and would continue to be because we are doing nothing substantial to create a credit derivative market in India. That's the reason even after a lot of frauds which are happening, banks are just writing off the money from their books simply writing off the money from their from from their books had it been the credit derivative banks would be able to get their money back but once again if you talk about this issue people don't understand because it because they do not they are not interested to have this anyways a wealth management platform designed to cover all asset classes of the globe and very soon this wealth management platform would link with our fixed income platform which is www.fixedincome.global and of course we would be adding crypto as well that is most important we are planning around 1000 plus wealth management videos by december 2022 which would be covering continents like United States, Europe, Japanese market, Asian markets, global financial centers, Latin America, the tax levels like Bermuda, Bermuda, you know, BVI, Caribbean and respective and structured finance, my favorite. 1000 plus videos would be covering almost everything as far as the wealth management is concerned. We would be covering a very simplistic and the plain vanilla topic. At the same time, we would be covering the exotic topic also. So basically our wealth management platform is for the people, those who are having zero knowledge. And it is also for the people, those who are having advanced knowledge. Please understand that it is not designed for the people, those who only have basic knowledge or the people who wanted to have exotic knowledge. People with the basic, moderate or advanced, they all can participate. This is our TRFX Academy, a screenshot from taken from our fixed income platform. This TRFX Academy is our OTT platform, which is over the top platform. And in this TRFX Academy, we are covering, we are of course interlinking the wealth management platform also. I promise you, Probably in another one to two years of time, we would be adding a lot of content in our wealth management platform and of course our TRFX Academy. Only people with the login ID and the password can enter into this platform and of course on a weekly basis we are trying to have at least, you know, we are trying to have at least uh, around 10 plus videos so that we would be able to reach to the target as far as the December 2022 is concerned. And we are committed to it, sir, to be honest. Treasury Consulting Group having own learnings platform, which is known as Sheetal Academy. As we speak, Sheetal Academy is covering around 13 plus schools. Few are mentioned here. The world of options, option worlds, school of Nifty and Bank Nifty, school of investment banking, school of venture capitalist and private equity, School of Commodities, School of Accounting, School of Foreign Exchange, School of Treasury and Risk Management, School of Forensics and more schools are coming. Before I change the slide, the purpose of Sheetal Academy is to create a learning platform which link with Thomson Reuters and Bloomberg. We know that we have many learning academies worldwide and I challenge all learning academy how many of them are actually linked with Reuters and Bloomberg I often share Reuters and Bloomberg screenshots on YouTube on LinkedIn on WhatsApp on Facebook on Twitter hardly I see in fact limited people in the world are sharing the Reuters and the Bloomberg platform uh, screenshots because the question is it requires a very deep and dense knowledge once you are sharing the, play, the, the the screenshots, you know, people generally ask questions from you and you should have a knowledge to reply. That is more important thing. Very soon we have more schools coming. So as we speak, we are having Option World, Nifty, Bank Nifty, School of Investment Banking, School of Venture Capitalist and Private Equity, School of Commodities, School of Accounting, School of Foreign Exchange, School of Treasury and Risk Management, 
school of forensics the other schools are school of trade finance school of regulatory school of treasury technologies functional training you know we have functional trainings forensic trainings in information technology trainings regulatory trainings and technological trainings as we speak around 200 plus trainings are listed more trainings are coming over the period of the time all these trainings and everything are integrated with our fixed income platform you visit our fixed income platform and you would be able to get all trainings and all information here apart from that we provided you the whatsapp number you just whatsapp if you have any query and in most of the cases we reply if you feel that the query is genuine so the shital academy is a platform whose job is to provide practical and industry oriented knowledge of course we link with thomson reuters bluebook tv and many international magazines international books and so on and so forth to provide you as practical training you visit our youtube channel in fact the video you just listen you can compare this video with any other youtube channel and rest you know apart from that we just launched our tcg video world what is that we have people those who working day night in their respective jobs some are engineers some are finance people and all they don't have time to attend the regular one to one trainings i agree that they need video trainings like the content shot in the video delivered to them and as and when they get time they listen to it we launched our tcc tcg video world treasury consulting group video world in this video world we have decided to have 100 plus topics five already done as we speak as we speak five video trainings are live pay and get the only time need is a time to upload on telegram groups every training at least 1 hour or 2 hours it is a video training so it is not a one to one training videos are recorded you get the videos recorded videos videos to be uploaded upload in the telegram groups because telegram gives you the privilege to upload 2 gb of video whenever we feel that the video length is big we request people to share their gmail ids they can create their fresh gmail id and we upload the video in their gmail id which so that uh, because telegram as we speak is giving a privilege of only you know 10 gb uh, 2 gb this tcg video worlds covering advanced trainings moderate trainings and basic trainings so basic trainings advanced trainings moderate trainings please note my next word carefully all basic trainings would be 2000 which means you choose any topic of basic you get at 2000 moderate and advanced training pricing depend upon content to content so i repeat tcg video world is a platform when you have 100 plus topic five already live two hours video training it's a video training to be uploaded in the telegram group if we need more space we request for gmail id advanced trainings moderate trainings and basic trainings please do remember this and this is live this platform is well integrated with our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global so this is well integrated with our fixed income platform This is a glimpse of our hedge fund desk. Like I made myself very clear upfrontly that no third party in the whole world can enter in this platform, which means that we do not trade somebody's money. We only trade our own money. So no third party can enter in our platform. This is only for ours. But this platform covers equity desk. this platform covers scalping group this platform covers commodities desk comics platform penny stock desk silver scalping fund which we just started and more importantly the asian desk where we covering singapore and all and the digital gold more 
product we would be launching in this hedge fund. But I will again repeat, no third party except treasury consulting can enter in this fund. This is not for outsiders. This is our prop hedge fund, which is completely designed for the organization by the organization. No third party is allowed. And we are very limited companies in the world, those who are running the profitable hedge fund. Our income and everything is really good, but we do not trade somebody's money. These are our credentials. You know my handheld number, 9899242978. These are our WhatsApp numbers. Our platform www.fixedincome.global Email ID rahul.magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in or info at the rate treasuryconsulting.in I assure you probably in another one year of time we would have more than 100 plus different platforms across the globe. Company would continue to be cash rich. We never allow any venture capitalist to enter in our company because we know the side effects of that and we continue to add lots of products and services. In case you wish to have any information, these are all the credentials. Thank you guys and have a great time ahead.